Ever wondered why long runs are a staple to almost every running program? Let's discuss. Hey, I'm Jack, an average everyday runner, hoping to help others learn a little bit more about running. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the science behind the long run and why they're a crucial part to every runner's training program. Stick around towards the end of the video as I share some tips on how to approach your long runs. Let's get into it. If you're someone who's run a long distance event before, such as a marathon or an ultra marathon, you'll be very familiar with the long run itself and its appearance on the training program every week, usually on a weekend when we have some extra time to complete them. But if you're someone deciding to sign up for something like a marathon, you may be scratching your head as to wondering what a long run even is. Well, my friends, there's a reason the long run appears frequently on a training program, and on occasion, fill your mind with doubt as to whether or not you could even complete the distance, especially if it's your first marathon. A general rule of thumb when it comes to the long runs is they should comprise of 20 to 25% of your total weekly mileage. But there really isn't a set standard here for the long runs as all runners are different. Oftentimes, the key reason long runs appear on a training program frequently is to build you up to running the distance like a marathon or an ultra marathon if you're already seasoned in that distance. For example, if you're training for the marathon, your program may may have a 32 kilometer or 20 mile run appear once or twice before actually running the marathon. Usually, marathon training plans won't actually have you run the full distance before you get to the starting line. This is to ensure your body has made the chronic adaptations over the course of the program to complete the distance. And it's also why marathon plans can feel so long, usually averaging around 16 to 20 weeks. It's important for us runners to remember that there isn't a set distance when it comes to the long run rather using this particular session as an objective to complete. Obviously, for someone running that first marathon, it's obviously completing that set distance to build them up towards the next and progress further through the training program. So now we know a little bit about what the long run is, why exactly are the long runs important in the first place? When training, we usually use one of three energy systems. The first is the anaerobic lactic system, the second is the anaerobic lactic system, and the third is the aerobic system. As long runs are slower, longer, and performed at a lower sustained intensity, we often find ourselves falling into the aerobic system for a majority of the run. A core component to the aerobic system is oxygen and therefore requires a significant amount of time for the system itself to be overloaded and fatigued. As we set out for our long runs, mitochondria utilize glucose, fats, and oxygen to produce ATP. And ATP is the source of energy for use and storage at a cellular level. As we continue in the run, our heart rate increases to increase the production of ATP. By entering this elevated state for a sustained period of time, we're encouraging our aerobic system to adapt to it, to more efficiently and effectively fuel our body with oxygen and ATP. What also goes hand in hand with this is the requirement of oxygen to be delivered around the body. Working muscles not only need the heart rate to increase, but also the amount of oxygen produced to be delivered to them. As we continue to complete the long runs in our program, our body responds to this regular exercise by increasing the network of capillaries in our bodies to grow more blood vessels. As a result, this allows for more oxygen to be delivered across the body more efficiently. Lastly, and while not the most sciencey, long runs allow us to build mental toughness by enduring such a long distance for a long period of time, particularly when things don't go quite right and things start to get hard. So now we know a little bit about the long run and the science behind it, Let's go through some tips to help you get the most out of your long runs each week. The first is to gradually increase your distance each week. If you're training for something like the marathon for the first time, it's important to gradually increase your mileage each week to ensure your endurance is built as safely as possible and to reduce the risk of injury. You want to aim for no more than a 10% increase in your mileage each week. Pace yourself. You want to start your long runs very slow and at a pace where you can maintain a normal conversation. This will help you conserve your energy for the entire distance of your long run. Hydration and fueling. You want to ensure you are hydrated and fueled before your long runs as well as during them. You want to ensure your electrolytes are topped up and your glycogen stores are topped out before running as well as maintaining those levels over the course of your long run. Next is to practice your nutrition strategies. If you're training for the marathon, you want to use your long runs as a training ground to work out what nutrition and hydration you will use come race day for your marathon. It's a great way to trial and error the array of different racing nutrition options out there. Simulate race conditions. Not only will you be experimenting with your nutrition for your event, 
you also want to know what exact gear you're going to take to it. From the shoes you're going to be running in all the way to the running apparel you will wear. As a lot of runners say, nothing new on race day. Listen to your body. Now this is something that a lot of runners tend to neglect but you want to listen to your body as you complete your long runs. If something isn't quite feeling right or something started to hurt quite bad, cut the run short to ensure you're not injuring yourself any further. One short run isn't going to derail your entire training program. Lastly, it's important to make time for recovery. Time out on your feet during a long run can add up, so it's important that you recover efficiently afterwards to ensure you can get out for your next training session. From stretching to foam rolling to ice baths, Work out what's best for you to recover to ensure you're feeling fresh for the next time you lace up for a run. So there we have it. A little video on what exactly a long run is and the science behind them. I hope you also found the tips I provided in the last part of the video useful. Let me know down in the comments below what your tips are for getting through your long runs each week. And also, if you're training for any event in particular, let me know too if there's any particular topic that you want me to talk about when it comes to running or any questions you might be having. I'd be more than happy to make some videos on what you all want to see and hear. Thank you for watching today's video. I'm Jack and I'll see you next time. Catch up.